You know, when we're getting ready to to get get into that next evolution of self, sometimes and don't get me wrong, every time let's say this, it's scary. <laughs> when you know that you're stepping into your greatness, when you know that you need to make a decision that's going to serve you or serve your family, serve your career, uh, serve your community, it's scary sometimes. And um, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's really. Taking that fear, taking whatever that is that might be holding you back, that, that before you take that leap, is sometimes you have to borrow the love you have for another until your self-love catches up. Meaning, sometimes when you're making a decision, sometimes when you're leading into that next evolution of growth, you might not believe in you enough. You might not have that self-worth, and, 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 and it's real. When we get really real and authentic about where we are and the decisions that we make in our lifetime, sometimes we have to borrow the love that another person has for us until our love for ourselves catches up, being different adversities that we've experienced in our lifetime. I also go into sometimes you have to borrow the light that others see in you until your light ignites. At each, we have people within our life, in our lifetime, that come in our journey, and they might say, hey, you know what, you're doing a great job. Or, you know, you have so much potential. And depending on our personal growth and where we at in that stage of life, we might not believe it. However, we can borrow what others see in us. We can borrow that love for a child or a spouse or a partner and we can do something that benefits both of us, gives us that courage to push forward until we believe it ourselves, until we see it in, in ourselves.